Hello, folks. Thank you for uh, tuning in to today's podcast. Now, we have a treat for you. It's a two-part series on The Authentic Coach. Now, whether you're a seasoned coach looking to enhance your uh, practice or a newcomer uh, eager to uh, make a real difference, these podcasts will provide you with uh, the essential knowledge and skills, practical strategies, and tips to help you become a more authentic coach. Hi, I'm Richard Fontenay, your host for today, and this topic is dear to my heart as I have been a coach for over 50 years. I have experienced uh, with uh, executive coaching, performance coaching, uh, career change coaching, small business coaching, uh, and uh, life coaching. And at one time, it was uh, face-to-face. Now, my practice extends beyond uh, the Saskatchewan borders through the wonderful world of virtual coaching. Uh, Before we discuss today's topic, though, let me uh, be clear on one thing. Authentic coaching isn't just a buzzword. It's a powerful approach that fosters genuine connections, builds trusts, and drives meaningful change. And today, we begin our journey into the world of authentic coaching by exploring what we mean by authenticity, and then move on to the principles and uh, fundamentals of authentic coaching. And by the way, I suggest uh, that you take some notes because the content that we'll be covering is quite complete. And uh, so take some notes today and uh, next week. But if you're driving while listening, (laughs) don't take any notes. Um, Just uh, keep your focus on the road and uh, listen. Now have a great day and uh, drive safely. So now let's get into it. What is authenticity anyway? Well, self-awareness is the core of authenticity. It involves a, a thorough understanding of uh, one's strengths, limitations, values, and beliefs. A self-aware person is not only conscious of um, these internal factors, but also how they impact uh, their interactions with others. Such awareness enables individuals to navigate their lives with a clear sense of uh, direction and a clear sense of purpose, fostering uh, resilience, confidence, influence, and a deeper uh, connection with others. Now, the benefits of being authentic are, uh, are uh, multifold uh, and extend into uh, both personal and professional realms. In personal relationships, authenticity fosters a genuine connections Uh, based on uh, trust and mutual respect. When people feel they are interacting interacting with someone that is uh, genuine, uh, they are more likely to open up and uh, reciprocate with their uh, own authenticity. Uh, This deepens bonds and uh, creates a supportive environment where Individuals are valued and uh, understood. Professionally, authenticity is equally powerful. Authentic leaders are admired for their honesty, integrity, and ability to inspire. They lead by example, uh, creating open and inclusive cultures where uh, team members uh, feel safe to express their 
uh, ideas and their concerns. Uh, this type of uh, environment boasts uh, morale, innovation, and productivity. Furthermore, uh, authentic uh, individuals are better equipped to handle conflicts and challenges uh, because they approach uh, situations with uh, greater transparency and uh, solution-oriented uh, methods and a solution-orientation mindset, which is critically important. But being authentic is not always easy. It requires one to continually confront and embrace their, their true self, that portion of themselves that are really uh, touch the core of who they are. Um, and that can be challenging in a world where often rewards are given to a lot of conformity. Uh, it's crucial uh, to maintain con uh, consistency between our internal values and our external actions. The, uh, this uh, uh, synchronicity um, or the, the linking between the two not only enhances uh, personal uh, fulfillment, but also strengthens the uh, trust that we have with each other. To cultivate authenticity, you can start by practicing mindfulness and uh, self-reflection. Taking time to reflect upon one's actions and motivations and feelings really helps in understanding oneself better. Uh, journaling can be a useful tool as well. Um, and uh, journaling uh, about one's purpose, uh, getting individuals to uh, track their growth over time um, helps really to the um, helps really for the uh, authentic process uh, within the coaching process. Surrounding oneself uh, uh, with the support of people who value and encourage authenticity is also important because it provides a safe space to express one's true self without fear of judgment. As well, uh, setting uh, boundaries is, all, is uh, crucial in maintaining uh, authenticity. Uh, knowing one's limits and values enables individuals to stay, uh, to say no uh, when, uh, when necessary and to make decisions that align with their true self. Uh, this does not mean uh, shutting oneself off from feedback or uh, refusing to adapt, but rather acting in a way that is uh, in harmony uh, with uh, one's core beliefs. And lastly, it's essential to embrace vulnerability. Uh, authenticity doesn't mean being perfect. But what it does mean is being honest about one's imperfections. Uh, embracing vulnerability allows individuals to connect uh, more deeply with others. Why? Because it breaks down barriers and, and fosters empathy and understanding. So in conclusion, authenticity is really a journey rather than a destination. It involves a, a continual process of self-exploration, -ex reflection, and adjustment. And by understanding and practicing authenticity, the individuals can lead more uh, fulfilling lives. Uh, they can foster uh, deeper connections and achieve greater success both in their personal uh, lives as well as their professional endeavors. 
Now let's uh, turn to the fundamentals of authentic coaching. Defining authentic coaching uh, goes beyond merely outlining a, a set of techniques or methods. It pertains to the essence of being genuine, being sincere and congruent with the coach as, and as a coach. Authentic coaching is rooted in the coach's ability to show up as their true self while guiding and supporting clients uh, to achieve their fullest potential. It's not about uh, following a, a script, but uh, about um, creating a deep and a trusting relationship that allows for real transformative change. Now, the core principles of authentic coaching include a set of guiding beliefs that underpin the process. And uh, here are some of those principles. First one is trust and uh, transparency. Now, trust is the uh, cornerstone of any healthy coaching relationship. This involves being open and honest uh, with your clients and uh, fostering an environment where, uh, where they feel safe uh, to, the, to, uh, to also reciprocate or, or do the same. Transparency about uh, your methods, about your intentions, and the feedback that you provide is crucial for building that trust. Secondly, respect for individuality. Now, every client is unique, uh, and uh, they have their own strengths, weaknesses, experiences, aspirations. And so, respecting and valuing this individuality means tailor fitting, and that's the key word tailor fitting your coaching approach to align with uh, uh, who they truly are, uh, rather than imposing one size fits all. Now, respecting individuality is absolutely uh, critical in our relationships with uh, the, uh, the coachee. Uh, then there's empathy and compassion. Now, an authentic coach listens, but he listens with empathy and responds with compassion. Um, so by genuinely understanding and acknowledging the emotions and the experiences of, of your client, um, you create, a, um, you create a, a supportive atmosphere uh, that encourages openness and uh, vulnerability, uh, vulnerable, pardon me, vulnerability, uh, and then uh, number four is commitment to growth. Authentic coaching is anchored in the belief in continuous personal and personal growth. Both coach and client should be committed to a journey of learning and self-improvement. And that's why I often uh, ask my employees to, or my uh, coachee to, um, uh, to make notes on the kind of thing that we're talking about as well as to journal so that uh, uh, there is a clear understanding and a, a clarity of uh, what the issues are and how I might be able to help that person. So the importance of uh, building trust cannot be overstated. Uh, trust is the foundation upon which uh, all other aspects of authentic coaching and uh, uh, lies and without uh, trust, um, coaching is going to be extremely difficult. Um, clients are unlikely to open up and unlikely to engage uh, in the coaching process. Now, to build trust, begin with clear communication uh, about. Um, what the clients can expect 
from your coaching partnership. Uh, that means uh, clearly understanding uh, the, uh, the expectations and the goals that you want to achieve. Uh, you need to be consistent, rela reliable, and maintain confidentiality. Now, the confidentiality is a critical, important thing because you get into some very serious stuff with the individual. And what you want to ensure is that that doesn't go outside of uh, the, uh, the relationship that you have with that person. Uh, and you need to show up on time, be prepared, and be fully present uh, during each session. Now, how to set uh, clear and authentic goals is also critical for uh, authentic coaches. The process of goal setting should align with the client's core values and, and long-term vision, where that person wants to, where that person wants to be. Uh, beginning uh, uh, and understanding their, uh, their current situations and aspirations and motivations, uh, what you want to do is use open-ended questions so that you can delve uh, deeply into their desires and into their fears. Uh, these insights will help uh, co-create uh, goals that resonate on a, um, on, a, on a deeper level and are truly meaningful uh, to the person. Now, once you have a clear understanding of the client's goals, you want to break them down into achievable steps. And each step should be measurable, uh, attainable, uh, relevant, and trackable. There should be smart, uh, uh, smart action steps. Now, this structured approach ensures that the goals are not only authentic, but also practical and achievable. Uh, regularly revisit these goals, adjusting them as needed to reflect uh, your client's growth and uh, changing circumstances. So, the fundamentals of authentic coaching lie in being genuine, building trust, and respecting individuality, showing empathy, and committing to growth. By uh, employing these principles, uh, you begin to create a coaching environment that fosters real connection and substantial progress. Remember, authentic coaching is as much about who you are as it is about what you do. Your authority or your authenticity, I should say. Your authenticity as a coach uh, will inspire and empower your clients to pursue their own authentic selves and achieve their dreams with confidence and greater clarity. So there you have it, folks. Uh, let's do a, a bit of a recap. Authenticity involves a, a continual process of self-exploration, reflection, and adjustment. By understanding and practicing authenticity, individuals can lead a more fulfilling life, uh, foster a deeper connections, and uh, achieve a greater success in their personal and professional endeavors. Uh, the fundamentals of authentic coaching are rooted in being genuine, building trust, respecting individuality, showing empathy, and uh, committing to growth. Embodying these principles creates a, a coaching environment that fosters real connections and substantial progress. Remember, though, as an authentic coach, your, authentic, your um, authenticity is not just about who you are. 
but it's also about what you do, and that is absolutely critical. You need to be really understand who you are and what you do follows from that. Your authenticity it will serve as a beacon and it will inspire and empower uh, your clients to uh, to pursue their own authentic selves and achieve uh, what they want to achieve what their dreams are and they'll do it with greater confidence and clarity now next week we continue our journey into the world of authentic coach we will dwell, delve into the knowledge and skills necessary uh, for an authentic coach and that knowledge uh, and those not that knowledge and those skills um, will be essential and basic uh, and uh, we'll explore how to build and maintain authentic relationships and provide you with several practical tips to help you along uh, your way as an authentic coach remember your role in the coaching process is crucial and your dedication is always valued. Now, thank you for listening, folks. Richard Fontany uh, signing off. And uh, if you enjoyed this uh, podcast, please share it with others and subscribe to this channel. And I thank you for doing so. Now, continue being uh, your uh, authentic self. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.